Hey, Nicole Huntsman here, your astrologer from ModernCosmic.com. I've got your Sagittarius and Aquarius. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> Aquarius and Sun compatibility here. All right, so with Sagittarius, we have got, uh, if you want to learn more about Sag actually in Sagittarius and Love, go to the Sagittarius and Love video. If you want to learn about Aquarius, go to Aquarius and Love video. Uh, briefly though, Sagittarius is our zodiac sign ruled by Jupiter, the planet of expansion. Uh, Sagittarius is tend to have an optimistic, um, very authentic, genuine personality type. It's like they trust the world. Here I am, love, flaws and all. Um, with a uh, Aquarius, you have a similar temperament. Aquarius is um, a, an understanding, friendly, social, uh, somewhat eccentric. Um, they do things their own way. Uh, anyone who has strong Aquarius in their chart, there's something about them that really loves freedom and appreciates freedom and gives it to the others and needs it in return. Both of these people are of that same, uh, are akin in that, you know, that giving and taking the freedom thing, okay, in relationships. So these two can really have a lot of fun together. Um, they are, of course, we've got fire with Sagittarius and air with Aquarius. Aquarius traditionally is ruled by Saturn. The modern ruler is Uranus. I think that I, it's almost like we have this blend of these two planets and all the things they represent. That to me is Aquarius. Uh, there is a Saturnian quality to Aquarius is they're stubborn. Once they've decided something, they are very, there's a fixed nature to them, right? That makes you think of Saturn um, rules. It's kind of like once they've set their boundaries up, they've set them up. Um, but before then, they like to look at all the options, okay? So they're very open. Uh, Sagittarius is also very open. Sagittarius sort of tends to remain open. That's their nature. Um, so they'll both appreciate that they give each other a lot of room to move around. Um, they allow each other social contacts with other people. Um, the one thing this relationship, I, I mean, this is one of my favorites. The one thing you just, you know, of course, you want to make sure the moons are happy with one another. When we have a fixed sign, Aquarius is fixed. If you have a fixed sign on that Sagittarius, you could have, you know, unless it's like, like a Leo moon might be kind of fun. Um, like I can see a woman with a Sagittarius sun and a Leo moon being sort of fun for an Aquarius. I can see that working. Um, but, but anyway, at any rate, you, you, you want the moons to be happy with one another and the sun moon uh, compatibility to be nice as well. That will really in, in sort of heat this up a little bit. Uh, Aquarius has a tendency, just Aquarius by itself. We're not looking at your, people get confused and they're like, I'm an Aquarius, I'm sexual, I am, I'm passionate, blah, blah, blah. Aquarius by itself without looking at anything else is probably one of our most airy of the of the air signs, okay, in my mind. I mean, Gemini is quite airy as well, it's from Mercury. Um, but there's this cosmic quality that's very, like, otherworldly detached with Aquarius. Um, so that's why I say you really need to look at those other planets and you need to look at the moon uh, to see sort of how this person expresses their personality uh, or their emotions in a relationship. Um, but overall, I like this combination. Again, you'll have a lot of fun together, learning new things, going on crazy adventures, probably traveling together, socially mixing. Um, if you've got an Aquarius that's more sort of science-minded, because Aquarius kind of leans in a few different ways, and one of them is science or skepticism or philosophy, then that Sagittarius, if you've got a Sagittarius who's also one that leans in that direction, then you'd have a really fun um, pairing here where they have a lot of interesting discussions, a lot of debate, a lot of what-if questions that they talk about and banter about back and forth. Um, great conversation. So overall, the, eh, the one thing that you're... You, also is the commitment issue. Both of these types like to sort of look at the field and see what's available and they don't like the grass is greener a lot of times. Um, and so they have a hard time sort of locking down a commitment. Um, so there's that. That could be an issue. Just getting this relationship to go the distance and getting this, the, getting both partners to just both be on the same page and that page being, okay, we're in a relationship, we're going to get married or we're going to be partners, whatever. Um, there may need to be an element of openness to the way this relationship functions for it to stay nice and healthy. So there you go. That's Sagittarius and Aquarius. If you'd like a birth chart reading, come over to my website, moderncosmic.com. Uh, I do birth chart readings, forecasts, relationship readings. Come see me over there. Other than that, let me know what you think about this, about your relationship, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.